What's going on with the world? Electric cars, cost of living, global warming, all these problems. We need free power. Can we make it in our backyard? Finlay Sheldon, another New Zealand YouTuber, and I having a bit of a contest to see who can make the best backyard wind turbine. Based on three factors. Cool factor, cost, and performance. These horizontal types are the most efficient and work the best. That's why they are used, but they are expensive and they look kind of ugly. So I'm going for a vertical one. The Savonius type is simple and works in any wind direction, but it's inefficient. It captures the wind in the cup side and the rounded side has to force itself upwind. The Darius type is more efficient, more like an airplane wing. It can also catch a little bit of wind on the backside, but it still has drag pushing the wing back upwind. We tried to make these for a while, so this is one of the first ones I tried. Darius and Savonius combo. So it's got the aerofoil shape on the outside and it's got the drag type to get it started. But it's not on a bearing or anything, it's also pretty small and it's a bit of wind but does not work. Then I just come up with this one which is a drag type or Savonius type. So I made a bigger one with a bit less curve and this one here spins pretty easily. There's no wind here, I'll go out the back a bit further. The wind's dying off now but you get the idea and as you tip it as the wind blows it more it speeds up. It kind of works both ways. So as the wind blows it harder it will twist and capture more wind and act like a in between a vertical and a horizontal wind turbine. It's almost the best of both worlds or the worst of both worlds, we'll see. Let's make a bit of a bracket that I can hang this from. Okay the printer's just finished making my bracket. It's got two strings so that it holds itself still. There'll be a little electric motor off here that I haven't made yet. There's pretty much no wind at the moment, but it's still trying to spin. So apparently two times a better wind source gives you eight times the efficiency. Doesn't really matter if it's that inefficient here. If I can get this up higher, it'll go much better. I made this high string line for the kids to swing on there. I do as well, obviously, above the trampoline. So I could put probably 10 or 20 of them across there you could run multiple lines you could have heaps of these things and make heaps of power tomorrow i'll jump up and try it up there okay i put a bit of a hook on here so i can lift it up and hook it onto the rope but i dropped it and snapped it in half there's an m8 thread printed inside this piece so maybe i can screw this in and screw the two parts back together There we go, success. Yeah, so there's heaps of wind up there. It spins really easily. But we need to try and draw some power from it. So let's print something better. I know as soon as the wind picks up too, it's gonna blow off that hook and fall down. So I'll 3D print something better for that as well. So I've printed a hook. I've got an old Lego motor hooked up to it. I've just taped this up. Put an electrode out to help space the wire away from it and got a bit of speaker wire connected. Let's put it up and see if it makes some power. So while I'm waiting for some wind to happen, I'll give Finlay a call and see how he's getting on. Hey Finlay, how's your wind turbine coming along? And here's the monolith, yes. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. It's Daniel. G'day mate, how's it going? Yeah, good. I'm standing in front of my miniature wind turbine. Yeah, yeah. I went for the curved Darius and I made my aerofoils out of fiberglass to keep the weight down. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, that brings me to the fact that I put all my skill points into the coolness tree. And unfortunately, this has meant that it's, um, it, it, it's not working. We have zero performance. Yeah. Anyway, how about yourself? What did you get up to? I'm doing okay. Mine's up. Just waiting on some wind. So mine's a Savonius type or a drag type, but it's in a spiral shape and it hangs from a rope. So as it catches the wind, it acts a bit more like a vertical one as well. Um, I've sort of gone for a low cost design that anybody can make. So I just went to see some performance out of it. Right, you're just, you're just working, is it? Hmm. Well, I'll, um, I'll have to go because I've got just a little bit of work to do then. Yeah, well, we better get cracking. Looks like Finlay's put a lot of effort into his one, a lot more than I have, but at least mine is working. 
So I actually had two of them stacked together to see if they could give me more power, but it fell down and the high winds it actually snapped off. So what you could do is run a piece of um, M8 threaded rod through the whole lot, that way you could stack heaps of them up if you wanted. I've just printed another one so you can stack up two beside each other. One's just for show and the other one's working. The wind's very gusty at the moment, but we'll see where, what sort of power we're getting. I have seen it go up to one volt. There we go, went to, a, went to one volt. I'm not sure about the setting or how many watts it makes. Let me know in the comments. So what's the cost of this thing? About 170 grams of PLA, a skateboard bearing, an M8 bolt, and a cheap motor. You're looking at about $4.50. So at that price you could have hundreds of these things strung between trees. This is kind of what I was thinking of a way of scaling this up. Each wind turbine could have its own motor with probably a diode in it and it can be wired up in series or parallel transferring the power along the wire that holds it up. Maybe a whole forest full. Maybe instead of cutting trees down to build wind farms you could use the trees to make power. Anyways it's just an idea. Also let me know what would be the best electric motor to use for this project or generator. If enough people want the files, I'll put them up on my CG trader for free. Be sure to check out Finlay's video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.